Follow your heart. Your brain is stupid. Pay close attention to your feelings. No matter how good something looks, if it doesn't feel right, walk away. If it doesn't feel right, chances are it is not right. You see, your heart is much wiser than your brain. Most people, when faced with a difficult decision, they go to their brain. Most people believe their intelligence comes from their brain. But that is not the case. You see, your heart is the most powerful intelligence in your body. Your heart is the intelligence that came before your brain. Most people didn't know that. Yes, your heart started beating before your brain existed. So the intelligence that created your body and your brain is your heart. We form an emotional brain long before we form a rational one and a beating heart before either. Research shows the heart has 60 times the energy coming out of it as the brain does. Now you can understand how your heart dramatically impacts how your brain works, not the other way around. You can't trust your brain 100% of the time. Your brain wants to keep you safe from all possible forms of pain. Your heart wants to take you where you need to go. Living inside your head is not only dangerous, it is reckless. As Tony Robbins says, when you're in your head, you're dead. You're dead to the wonder of this world. You're dead to the beauty of this world. You're dead to the clarity of decision-making and true peace that comes from following your heart. To get in touch with your feelings, your heart is the way to unlock all of your true potential, peace and clarity. Your heart knows the way. Follow your gut. Follow your intuition. If you feel like it's right, follow that feeling. Get out of your head and into your heart. Intuition, or following your heart, to act on sudden inspiration has such a negative connotation in society. We are expected to think with our heads and be practical. But being practical or logical will never lead to true fulfillment or happiness. You can only get that when you live fully as your authentic self and follow your heart, even if that doesn't suit those around you. Jim Carrey said, so many of us choose our path out of fear, disguised as practicality. As a society, we are so conditioned to conform to society standards, which discourages us from following our intuition, from following our heart. We take the practical road because it is safe, less risky. But when we suppress the desire to act on divine inspiration, we build up tension so great in our soul that we begin to experience lower states of emotion, including depression, anxiety, and disappointment. We miss our path. And for what? So that we can feel safe? So that we can have predictability? Sure, predictability and safety have their benefits, but if your heart calls and you choose to ignore it, the consequences may far outweigh the benefits. Your heart will lead you to your authentic self. Consider someone who is being pressured within a family to join the family business, to do what generation after generation in his family have done. Will he follow the crowd and be safe? Or will he dare to pursue other avenues despite the hardships that may follow? When feeling compelled yet scared to take the road unpaved or unapproved, Ask yourself the tough questions and be honest with yourself. Is there some other purpose for me in life other than meeting other people's needs and doing what is expected of me? Am I more concerned with how others view me 
rather than my own happiness? Am I suppressing my true desires? What will the effects of long-term suppression be versus the effects of short-term acceptance by friends, family, and society? Each of us is gifted with talents and skills which can be identified by looking at the things we are passionate about and inspired to do. By suppressing and turning away from these passions and impulses, we are denying the divine access to powerful creation that exists inside all of us. We are all here for a purpose, and that purpose sometimes does not, at least initially, look so practical. It must be felt within the heart. You always have the answers inside you. Everything you need is inside you. Just follow your heart and don't confuse the voices in your head and around you with the guidance of your much wiser, more powerful heart. Follow your heart. Your brain is stupid.